I try to start using technology from the very beginning of the school year. Um, and a lot of kids, partly because they're first graders, haven't had a lot of experience with it. Um, so we make a movie within the first two weeks about our um, student rights and responsibilities. So we take each of those rights and responsibilities and we break it down and talk about what it means and then they plan a picture to model that. <coughs> and at that point I take the pictures but we dump them into photo story and we record our understanding of these things and we have a video then that we've made that we can watch and as the year goes on we continue to do that and I turn more and more of the responsibility over to the students. So when we first hand the cameras to them, it's within our classroom in a pretty comfortable, constrained setting and they'll take pictures of things they've counted in math or they'll take pictures of something that they've built so that if I don't get over to see it, there's a, a memory of it that I can look at later. Um, they've used the flips to record each other's number stories in math or to record what they understood about something else. So starting within the room in the small group using the cameras um, gets them comfortable with it. And by this point in the year, I'll send a small group of kids with a camera out into the building to do something. Go take pictures of shapes, go take pictures, go record people talking about how they'll go to the office or to other teachers to record about past versus present. What was it like when you were a kid? How did you go to school? What did you do? How did you do your homework? You know, things that are different. Um, but we've taken a long time to scaffold them to have that comfort level that they can do it more independently. I work really hard with first graders to have a lot of images for them because they are not strong readers and writers. Certainly at the beginning of the year, they're just emerging in, in their skills in reading and writing. Um, and they can't begin to share, they can't begin to take in knowledge in that way in really meaningful ways and they can't share everything they understand in that way. And so giving them a camera and allowing them to record or giving them a video camera and allowing them to tell orally what they understand um, has opened up their ability to share. Looking at images, they're so much more observant than we are, the things that they notice in pictures. So to have them look at images um, that they've, pictures their friends have taken or that they have taken or that I have provided them with offers them a chance to really dig deeply into something that they couldn't do if it were text.